Yes. So what we have in done so far is pretty much everything aside from what we call auto scaled servers. So we're, right now we have two servers. These are manually created. But what we're going to do is create an auto scaling group. So AWS will automatically create uh, more and more servers uh, as, as demand grows and, and shrinks. So let's go to uh, the last part, which is here. Uh, we are going to create a launch template and then an auto scaling group and then attach that to the load balancer. Alrighty, so first thing we have to do is create a launch template. I already created it, but I'll show you the process. So here, click create launch template. <clears throat> okay, and then I'll call it here AWS Moodle V2 because I already made a AWS dash Moodle. Uh, and then get it from my AMIs and then here demo Moodle AWS. So this was the Amazon machine image or snapshot we made. Uh, I chose micro so I don't get charged t2.micro same pair. And then the security group, we would use the uh, very generous 113286 storage and then you just click create template to create this okay so once your template is created i click cancel it, it, it'll come up here and it'll be shown as aws moodle or moodle v2 and all we have to do now is create an auto scaling group so let's go ahead and do that okay so an auto scaling group will uh will allow you to create and uh remove these small instances as we as we see fit so i already made one but i'll, I'll just i'll just delete that first uh delete and we'll, we'll make a new group okay so I'll, I'll click delete and let's create a new auto scaling group create an auto scaling group i'll call it aws demo moodle group okay next we'll create a launch template aws moodle it's only one version next VPC, we're happy with the default VPC. Availability zones, let's choose all the zones so it can be created in any zone. Next, okay, so here we're going to click attach, attach it to an existing load balancer and we already made a load balancer. So here we have Moodle instances. We'll leave it as a EC2, we won't click ELB, but we'll just do a EC2 groups. Let's leave the ELB uh, health checks unchecked for now. Okay, let's do a desired capacity one, minimum capacity one, maximum capacity two. Uh, and then that's pretty much it. Okay, now you're tracking scaling, click next, next, next. And then pretty much we're done. So here we created a um, auto scaling group attached to all the US East instances. Group size one, one, maximum two. And the important thing is the load balancing. We chose the correct balancer and the correct target group. And then we have the correct launch template. Okay, so we'll go and create that. Um, and then I'm going to pause the video and then I'm going to wait for it to start creating these new instances. So we're back and uh, now we have already the auto scaling group work. So now when we click it, we can see what happened. So we have one capacity, minimum capacity is one, maximum is two. Launch template is there. We can click activity to find out. Uh, so it successfully made one new instance. And let's look at our instance management. And it says in service. So we could actually click that. Uh, and we can actually go monitor that as well. So look at that. Um, okay, we'll wait a bit. EC2, so we can monitor all the ins EC2 instances together. Uh, then you get all these charts, etc., cetera, on, on how much uh, data it's using. And then here when we click instances, um, we can now see our new instance. So check it out. We will just load uh, our instances. And here we see at the bottom that we have this, 
this this is the new instance that was created. So let me just zoom that so we could just see just the one we want. Um, here we go. So this is the Moodle AWS, uh, the one we made before. And uh, this is the new instance that was just launched. So if we actually type, now if we type uh, the same thing we've been using, we see that it still runs and it, it runs pretty good. So now uh, we can see even if the main server stopped and I deleted the secondary server, we now have uh, an extra server here just and, and, and it would work regardless. And uh, just a little bit, if we wanted to launch another one, we just have to click auto scaling groups. And then all we ha would have to do would be to edit how many instances we need, whether one or two. So uh, actually creating however many servers you want to handle demand becomes very easy. Okie doke. So that's pretty much it. So just a recap. Overview was we successfully finished everything needed and apologies for uh, calling EFS S3 sometimes. So that is definitely an EFS server. So what we did in all the videos was we registered the uh, site on Route 53. So Route 53 does our DNS hosting. We created a load balancer who can now create as many instances as we want. The Moodle data folder is stored on AWS, so it can be shared by all three in auto-scaled instances. And then uh, there is a cache uh, using the AWS Redis cache so that um, any, any data will go there first before hitting the Aurora cache or the Aurora database. So here we have a fully distributed and horizontally scaled system.